What's the difference in the power, they ask? What's going to be the difference whenever a guy says, I got power? The difference in power starts in a couple of, a couple of places. Excuse my French. It starts from down here. If that's generated power, and then upper body power starts in the shoulders, the torque, and in the, in the back of the torso. When you rotate and you throw powers, we call that power comes from velocity. But when you see guys that are, that are born with that power, no matter what they hit you with, it can drop you, it can knock you out, it can daze you bad, it can put you on quiz street. Your objective is to understand that. So just say, for instance, this guy has a powerful right hand. He throws that powerful right hand. I got to get my boom. I got to put on my helmet, throw, pop. And then I got to learn how to get inside and rock and rock. And whenever you got a guy who throws that power from the lowest points, he got good velocity because he uses his legs well. It's just like he usually is a good body puncher. Remember Mickey Ward? All of those guys had that good torque pop in their shots. So even with the body shots, you go hit pop, pop. You got to learn how to counter punch guys who have supreme power like that. Why is this important to know the different types of power? Because you might walk into the ring with a George Foreman, a guy who has clubbing power. So no matter what he hits you with, he can throw a big right hook to the body. He can throw a left hook, boom, to the body, and he moves you. The best way to deal with those type guys is when they're getting ready to throw, throw the shot, is to get inside and work with them. Bump, pop. That's how you do, deal with guys who have forceful power. And the next thing is to understand why am I so inept to get hit by a guy if I don't understand the type of power he got. Because he relies on you not knowing. So a good example would be the fight this weekend when you have a guy like Triple G, who throws the punch how he wants to. He knows not only to hit you hard, but where to hit you. He'll hit you on the top of the head, which knocks off the body's equilibrium. A lot of those guys that he hit, they fail in a funny kind of way. He knows how to hit you to the body. Boom, he turns those knuckles in. Boom, strong bone power. Triple G has great force. Canelo has amazing snap. So when you see Canelo, you see that snap. That's the torque of the feet. Velocity, that's a different kind of power. It's explosive, it's quick, and he can put it in combinations. It takes a lot of gas out of your tank, but understand the kind of power that you are being placed or being threatened to you, or understand the kind of power that's threatening you at that time. So your objective is assess the guy. When he throws his punch, make sure you stay defensively responsible, learn how to get inside, Wipe, pop, turn, and step around. That will be the key. Whoever understands how to adjust, adjust and adapt to the other guy's power will be the victor this weekend. It's gonna be a lot more elements to play a role. Conditioning, um, fatigue, but when it's all said and done, whoever knows how to adapt, which they will both have to do to the other guy's power, be sure that will be the one who gets his hand raised at the end of the night. Drop down in the comments below who you think gonna win the night. We got Turbo here. This is Turbo, thank you guys for uh, listening and checking in. Check him out, he got a show on Tuesday called- Turbo Tuesday. Turbo Tuesday, like I said, stay tuned, keep locked, keep it locked, enjoy the fight, and understand there's levels to power. My name is Coach Eric A. Bradley, and I thank you guys for watching. This stable here is Master Boxing, where you'll get your master's degree in boxing. Peace.